depending on what your partner does in the relationship, it can take you out of a secure attachment style into an insecure attachment style. For the details, watch this video. Hey, I'm Coach Benny and I help people get their exes back. And I was on a session today with my coach and I learned some new stuff that I didn't know before. I knew some of this, um, but I wanted to share this with you and how you can go from security into insecurity. So maybe you felt this before. Maybe, for example, if you've dated a dismissive avoidant, somebody that wasn't connected to you or not communicating with you, and you were secure from you know childhood or past relationships, but you started to become anxious because they're pulling away. You're connected to them. They're not communicating with you. You're not getting enough time with them. They're pulling away. And now you want more reassurance. You're like, you're trying to bridge the gap. You're clinging on to them to rescue the relationship because you're securely, like you were securely attached, but you're trying to, you know, get that thing that you thought was in place. I think a lot of us have that experience right there. But you can also shift into the other two attachment styles out of security. For example, with a fearful avoidant, if you were secure and now all of a sudden your partner starts hurting you somehow, they cheat on you or they uh, maybe they physically abuse you, you're going to get traumatized by those events. And now you're going to put start putting your walls up, trying to protect yourself from experiencing that level of trauma once again. The fearful avoidant is going to go through somebody's phone. They're going to try to control the environment, feel safe, maybe uh, get combative in conflict, you know, these kind of things. Uh, whereas they might not have done that before uh, the trauma happened to them. Now, lastly, and this is the new thing that I learned today, you can also shift into the dismissive avoidant in adulthood, which I used to think that it always came from childhood. You can actually shift into the dismissive one in adulthood if your partner is making you feel not good enough through criti uh, criticism or just like berating you. Um, if they're making you feel not good enough, you're going to start to dismiss what they're saying. You're going to be less sensitive to it. You're going to pull away, right? Because their feelings are making you feel not good enough. It's wounding you. So I think at the end of the day, yeah, I should tell you, you know, be careful who you get into a relationship with. But, you know, once you're already attached to somebody, you love them, you know, um, if you're in a difficult situation, you want to be working on your attachment style and working towards security. Now, if you're going through a breakup and you want to get your ex back, click into my profile, click this link right here, set up a call with me, and I want to hear your story, and I'll give you a step-by-step -step plan to get your ex back.